In 2023, Mastercam has consolidated its multi-axis toolpaths. Parallel, Morph, Project Curve, and Along Curve have all been consolidated into the unified toolpath. Therefore, you will not see those icons anymore when you expand the gallery. So let's go through the unified toolpath to see how we can create a Morph, Parallel, Project Curve, and Along Curve toolpath. So first we'll focus on creating a parallel toolpath. For that, what I want to do is I want to set my cut pattern first. For my machining geometries, I'm going to choose these three faces. And then I'm going to add a curve. So we're going to do parallel to curve strategy in this case. So I'm going to select this edge curve at the top of my part. And I'm going to set my strategy to parallel. When I apply this, to preview the toolpath, I can see that I get a nice parallel toolpath to that curve along my machining geometry. So I'll click OK here, and then you'll notice my toolpath is actually called Unified Parallel. Now let's do a morph toolpath. Let's open up Unified again. And the first thing I want to do is reload parameters from defaults because it's modal, so it's going to remember what I did last time. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our tool. So I'm going to stick with this quarter inch ball. I'm going to grab my cut parameters. So my machining geometries in this case are going to be these guys here. I'm going to add a curve row. My first curve to follow is going to be this guy here. I'm going to add another curve row, which I'm going to follow down here. And what I want to do is change this style to morph. Again, I'm going to apply these changes and I can see my nice morph strategy from this curve to that curve following these faces. I'll click OK. And then here we have unified morph. Let's do project curve. Again, I'll open up unified. I'm going to reload my parameters and we're going to project this wording onto this face. So for my tool, I'm going to grab a 1 8 ball end mill. Under my cut pattern, I'm going to select my machining geometry, which is going to be this face. For my pattern, I'm going to select a curve row. I'm going to go to my wireframe chaining and just create a window around this and select my start point. So at this point, I need to change my style to project. And then because this is pretty far away from my face, I want to make sure that my project curve options, I'm going to set this to two inches. And then I'm going to apply the changes. So here I can see I have a projected strategy. I have some linking moves here between my letters. So to clean those up, we can simply lower our gap size and change our retract to retract to feed distance, apply that change, and then now I have a nice projected toolpath onto that surface using Unified. So again, I'll click OK. And now I have Unified Project. Last one we're going to do is a long curve. So again, I'm going to launch Unified. I'm going to reload my parameters. For my tool now, I'm going to use this lollipop. Under my cut pattern, I'm going to grab my machining geometries, which is going to be this port. For my curve, I'm going to select the top half of this guy. So I'm going to select a single chain and just do this section here. And then I'm going to change my style to perpendicular. So the last thing I need to do here is go to my tool axis control. I'm going to change that to fixed angle to axis, and I'm going to allow that to tilt from 10 to 15 degrees about my z-axis. So again, I'll click apply. I can see it's kind of created my nice little toolpath here. I'll click OK. And now I have unified perpendicular, which would be matching the along curve strategy. So if we back plot that, we can see that the tool is actually coming in and projecting the cut pattern around the part based off of the curve that's going through.